Hello everyone and welcome to the Sedona International Film Festival. I'm your host Carol Kahn. We are coming to you live from Yavapai College, the Sedona campus, and would like to thank our sponsors Northern Arizona Healthcare. And joining me now is Carl Reed with the film Park Bench. The Park Bench. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, so I heard the drive-in was really nice. I mean, like hard to beat it's the most beautiful drive-in and you know i was running a little late but i was like can i get like five more minutes so <laughs> beautiful drive beautiful drive were you one of those that put your phone on the steering wheel and <laughs> take pictures you know i i can show you my phone right now and it kind of looks like a photo album so i have to send it back to my kids so. that's awesome and um your children what are their ages i have a, a 11 year old daughter and a 13 year old son awesome um, so I bet they could be watching this live, like right now. They more than likely are. Yeah, so you want to say hello? Shout out to your kids? <laughs> hello, Solomon. Hey, Scotty. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Actually, um, as we were uh, kind of in the creation phase for the park bench, you know, uh, the Bella, she's around the same age as my daughter, so she gets to see a lot of and she's very interested in anything surrounding this. Oh, my gosh. She was kind of a little bit of an inspiration. That's awesome. That's awesome. So how did you even get into um, filmmaking? So I took the circuitous route. <laughs> I started out uh, as a comic book artist and then moved over. Uh, you know, it was uh, in St. Louis where I'm from. There wasn't a ton of uh, opportunities for comic art. So I would, I would have projects every time I go to San Diego Comic Con or other places. And then in the meantime, I had to, uh, I, I worked with an agency that, kind of broaden my skill set from illustration to like animation and, and you know uh, commercials and things like that and so I just got to experiment with a lot of different forms of uh, from illustration to filmmaking and then from there I was like you know what let me get some actual broadcast under my belt so I moved out to LA and got to work on some broadcast animation and then from there I was just in love and I was like as much as I love comics I love this animation <laughs> stuff it's like my heart and so you know since then uh, haven't stopped and I live and breathe this stuff. Oh my goodness. So what kind of comics did you do? What were the subject? So any and everything. Uh, with Lion Forge Comics was uh, it was co-founder of Lion Forge Comics which later uh, merged with Oni Press so now it's Li Oni Lion Forge and no mostly for like Scott Pilgrim and you know um, things like um, you know the show that inspired Atomic Blind and all of these other books, but primarily it's about content that kind of touches you or, or uh, you know, inspires you or, you know, you can really feel the, the personal touches and it's creator driven. So it's all about the creators and the personal stories. And you'll see a superhero every now and then. We're not away from there. You'll see a monster <laughs> or two and, and fantasy, but it's all about that emotional story and, and kind of hitting people in the right uh, places. Right. So talk a little bit about uh, Park Bench. So Park Bench is like a labor of love for this little tight team. Like uh, it started off with this kind of thought around care and especially around these kind of uh, medical hardships. And you, you, you oftentimes see the role of the person who's afflicted with the disease or the uh, ailment. But what happens to their family? What happens to the children in the household? How do they cope? You know, uh, and even during those times, you know, life has to proceed, but you have to have some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. And I think that's why, uh, you know, typically with a film like this, you don't want to be constrained with, with brand. But in this case, Aflac actually came came in on the film very early and it's their whole mission is kind of care outside of uh, you know the traditional medical system so you know we were able to really dive into and think about uh, family hope care especially as applied to sickle cell anemia which is what the, the father had and personally my uncle died a little bit early because of the, the uh, disease and then I have three or four nieces that have uh, sickle cell now and it's it's invisible you know you look at the folks and it's just normal people 
and you don't know that they're in almost constant pain. And myself, uh, you know, half of my siblings have the trait. So you have to consider things like uh, when you're meeting partners, like, do you have the trait? Will I be condemning my kids to have sickle cell? And so uh, it's, it's, it's one of these things that doesn't get as much shine. And especially uh, because it's a lifelong affliction, uh, those that are afflicted aren't talking about it every day. And then the pain that they go through and everything, it's not really known. So with the park bench, uh, we had to show that day to day and that hope that you can find in those moments of, of hardship. How has this been? Cause you said your daughter like has pretty much like absorbed like Bella and all that. How has this been like a teaching tool for your children? Well, not just for my kids. What, what I found even more uh, surprising, you know, I expected um, my kids to be uh, informed about, oh, okay, you know, in times of darkness, you know, there's there's hope and there's life that continues. Uh, and, and they picked up on that and, you know, were inspired and, and you know, little tears <laughs> at the end of the film. But when, an, when adults come to you and say, you know what, thank you for telling this story because, you know, my family was just afflicted with cancer and we didn't know what to do. The, the medical bills were piling up and, you know, even outside of just a loved one is in pain, it creates so much hardship around it that, you know, is never really shined a light on. And so when, when you know, folks who you think, like, you have this all figured out, are like, you know what, I'm so glad to see this story and I'm so glad that uh, a light is being shined on it. So, you know, super surprising and, and touching. Right. So it, it, it talks about sickle cell, which, you know, I, I know like many years ago that was brought up and then it sort of just like went away. Like you didn't really hear about it anymore. So I think you're right. It's like all of a sudden, you know, it needs to come to light because you think like if you don't hear about it, that it doesn't exist. Right. It doesn't <laughs> exist or there is like a solution to it or, or something like that. And obviously there's not. Right. And unfortunately, out of sight, out of mind. And, yeah. you know, as a as a tight knit family that you're kind of relying on each other and, and when you don't even talk to your friends and family about it after a while. Like you don't want to even be burdened by your sadness and your, you know, the things that you're going through. So unfortunately, it's kind of a, a self uh, self propelling circle that is like stays inside of that household because you don't want to complain every day and these things it's not a week it's not even even uh, you know you get the flu it's a couple of weeks you know these things go on for years and lifetimes and how do you cope as a family right right so where do you get your inspiration from because basically this is a personal story so where else do you uh, find your inspiration you know myself I think the full drive was, I know what people go through with this, uh, uh, with the result of sickle cell. And then Rob Edwards, the writer, he came in and added that hilarious moments where, okay, this is a time of darkness, but why am I laughing? (laughs) Why, why am I laughing? Right. And then there's times in, in a very short piece where you're going from laughing 30 seconds ago to kind of on the verge of tears. So uh, I think collectively, uh, I was inspired by the team. I was inspired by my experiences with uh, sickle, sickle cell with my family. And then, you know, this may sound weird, but, you know, as we were dealing with AFLAC, understanding that their whole mission is to kind of uh, fill in those blanks as well. So you know you're you're uh, you're burdened by all of this stuff and and you know burdened by all these hardships. And it's a company whose whole mission is to do that. So I was inspired by that as well. And uh, on top of you know I love seeing 
a, a beautiful script come back. I love seeing <laughs> beautiful animation and seeing uh, characters come to life. And, and that's what keeps it going from the beginning to the end. Awesome. And how can people find out about your film? Well, first you could see the trailer on the website. Also, uh, Park Bench Film, I think, is the uh, URL to go see the full film. It's also on YouTube mm -hmm. and uh, other film festivals. So you will be able to see it, uh, if not today, at a place near you. <laughs> Sounds like a commercial. <laughs> and where where is it see being? It now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, where is it being screened here in Sedona? So later tonight, there's a, a short uh, festival, and uh, I'll be there front row <laughs> and center, uh, and you know, see it ten times in a row, and you'll see different things every single time, and so uh, even from the inside out every time I see it I just like oh this I'm about to get hit I know it's coming and then I get smacked in the face with the the feels anyway so uh, everyone in the area if if you uh, if you're able come out and check it out and love to hear your feedback and hopefully it touches you as much as it did us yeah thank you thank you so much for driving here well flying and then driving <laughs> oh it was a beautiful drive like I, I want to drive again and I will that's today. awesome. Yeah, and you didn't get lost, so that's a good Not thing. at all. Yeah, Not at see? all. I don't know. We have to talk to some of our filmmakers here because <laughs> they need GPS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. It's, so, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for being with us. And uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. And our hashtag is hashtag Sedona Film Fest 2022. We'll be back with more interviews with filmmakers after this.